Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use XCSS frame generation in conjunction with TLSS for upscaler in Star Wars Outlaws running on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing this game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now in order to enable XCSS frame generation we just need to update the existing XCSS files to the latest ones that is version 2.1. Enabling XCSS frame generation will automatically enable XCSS low latency mode which will help in cutting down the latency. In order to combine XCSS frame generation with TLSS4, I'll be using OptiScaler mod. We'll activate OptiScaler mod using the in-game XCSS upscaler, then replace it with TLSS upscaler. In some games, this method causes the screen to go black, but this does not happen in Outlaws. I'll also compare XCSS frame generation with the in-game FSR 3.1 frame generation. I have already compared them. With FSR frame generation, a bike shadow flickers when riding the bike at high speeds. A screen tearing like effect can be observed around the left, right and bottom edges of the display. When a character is close to either left or right edge of the display, double images are produced. No such issues are present in the case of XSS frame generation. It also has a lower latency than FSR frame generation. Newcom 9's mod also produces the same graphical artifact, so I won't be testing it. Before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank Ubisoft for providing me with a free review copy of the game. It's the Ubisoft Connect version of the game, but everything should work the same way even with the Steam version of the game. First just disable Ubisoft Connect's performance overlay. Click on your profile here, settings, click on interface, uncheck the setting, enable in-game overlay for supported games, close. Download Intel's XCSS SDK version 2.1. From GitHub, I'll give its link in the description. Expand the set section, click on the dot zip link here. We'll be using the latest preview 13 nightly build of OptiScaler available on OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the set section. Expand it. Click on the dot sensei link here. This build version 0.7.7 preview 13 2025 This game comes with an older version of TLSS 4 OptiScaler. I'll manually update it to the latest one. That is C10.3.0 available on Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. Just need to set the render preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS4. I'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines from here. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes. Select the file, right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will activate the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, replace the number 4 here with 0 like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, open. Click on yes. Ok. Now I'll update the game's XCSS files. Open XCSS SDK archive file. Open bin folder. Copy the highlighted files. libxcss underscore fg dot tll, libxcss dot tll and libxcll dot tll. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open your Ubisoft Connect library. Click on the three dots below the game's box art. Click on manage. Click on properties. Click on installation. Click on open folder. Games install directory will open up. Replace the existing XSS files with the latest ones. Replace. That's it. Now you will be able to access in game XSS frame generation setting. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Copy these two files OptiScaler.dll and OptiScaler.ini. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Right here, next to the games main exe file. Just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini. Set dx12 upscaler to dlss and set fg type to no fg. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll update the game's DLSS subscaler. It comes with version 310.2.0.0. Open DLSS subscaler's archive file. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the game's install directory. 
paste the file here. Now it's not a mandatory requirement to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting for using either FSR frame generation or XCSS frame generation. But if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable basing from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings from this drop down bar, select Star Wars Outlaws, scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. Click on display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. In game settings, display mode borderless window very important required for using XCSS frame generation. Full HD resolution, frame rate unlock, reflex disable it. It's not compatible with the in game FSR frame generation. Upscaler. Okay, first I'll highlight FSR frame generation graphical artifacts. So I'll switch to FSR 3 upscaler, it's actually 3.1. Apply. Disable frame generation for the timing. Upscaler mode fixed using the upscaler's quality preset. This game is very heavy on the GPU. I'm using the medium quality preset. Targeting 50 to 60 FPS. Cinematic lens disable it very important. Otherwise, graphical artifacts will be produced with frame generation on. Lens and cinematic quality low. Film gain disable depth of field low. Motion blur nil. Very important. Don't enable it if you want to use. XCSS frame generation and media RTX direct lighting off. Advanced graphics, most of the settings set to medium. Some ray tracing settings cannot be disabled in this game as you can see. Yeah, we are in. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, make sure TLSS upscaler is selected. Source, in game FSR upscaler. TXJ spoofing is off. Version of TLSS Subscaler 310.3.0 Render Preset is K. This is the Transformer model of TLSS 4. DLSS Auto Exposure setting is off, so enable it via OptiScaler menu. This setting helps in reducing coasting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Click on Save INI. Close. Alright, this is the base game performance. FPS here is close to 50. I am on the Moon Kushara. Big open area here. I am recording the video using OBS. It comes with a performance overhead. Without OBS here, FPS usually stays close to 55, 55 to 58. Okay, just observe my bike shadow, hover bike, case speedster. Shadow is rendered properly here. Also observe the left and right edges of the display. No screen tearing like effect is produced. 44 to 50 fps here now i'll enable fsr frame generation and highlight the graphical artifacts open in-game video settings enable frame generation from here apply resume the game the fps increased to around 90 can observe the added amount of smoothness but i'm also observing some latency now just observe the left edge of the display case jacket when I move the camera around, some ghosting is produced around case jacket. See, should be visible now against the sky. Common FSR frame generation. Oh my god, what happened there? That guy ran over me. I was saying common FSR frame generation related graphical artifact. This double image will be produced even when our character is close to the right edge of the display. Now I'll ride my bike. And again, Ready to go. just observe the bike shadow, K shadow as well. As you can see, the shadow is flickering, flickering very aggressively. It's a common FSR frame generation related artifact. Also observe the left, right and bottom edges of the display. A tearing like effect can be seen. This tearing like effect is very easily noticeable on smaller displays like the ones in ROG, LI, Steam Deck, MSI Cloyd, etc. etc. 
FPS is a bit variable 75 to 85. Games interface is not flickering but TLSS debug overlay is flickering. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Ok I'll just switch to XCSS now. Video settings upscaler just set it to XCSS apply. Frame generation on. I'll load the exact same sequence. DLSS upscaler is still working. You can verify this via Octiscaler mod menu. Source input change from FSR to XCSS close. Here we are getting close to 90 fps we were getting roughly the same performance with fsr frame generation oh no this guy he would have ran over me if i hadn't moved now just observe case jacket no ghosting is produced around the left edge of the display that screen tearing like effect around the left right and bottom edges of the display is not present in the case of xcss frame generation it may still be present but very difficult to spot this effect now unlike FSR frame generation see XCSS frame generation is better than FSR frame generation even in terms of latency I am using my mouse to aim XCLL is doing a good job of keeping the latency in check it's enabled by default when we enable XCSS frame generation. Okay, now I'll ride my bike. Just observe the bike shadow. Okay, shadow as well. It's oh my god. Shadows are not flickering. We have info XCSS frame generation. It produces less graphical artifacts than FSR frame generation in Outlaws. Performance wise they are roughly the same but the smoothing effect of XCSS is better than that of FSR. Crossing the bridge with FSR here FPS dropped to 75, 76 to 80 in the case of XCSS frame generation. One big disadvantage of using XCSS frame generation this way on RTS GPUs is that you won't be able to use DLSS ray reconstruction. This is why we are waiting for Newcom 9's mod DLSS G2 XCSS FG. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable the DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select it, right click, open with, click on notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Select the file, right click, open. Click on yes, ok. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.